Hi, and welcome back to the Mortgage Broker Broadcast. My guest this week is business owner Lee Rowland. I'm so excited about getting Lee back onto the podcast. Lee was on the podcast back in August last year, episode 18, talking about his journey to financial services, where he was at with that time, all about his branding. There was various other things that went on that we talked about. So it was natural that I wanted to get him back on. He's this week launched his own brand, his own business, which is an exciting time for him. So I think it's good for everybody to hear how he's got there, why, what, why he's chosen to do that. But who better to explain all that than Lee? So let's just get Lee onto the podcast. Welcome to the podcast, Lee. How are you? Really good. Thanks, Craig. How are you keeping? Yeah, good, mate. Thank you very much. Good. Glad to get you back on the podcast and uh, hear all about the, the journey. Like, I was looking back then. It was the 4th of August when your first episode one. It was episode 18 of the podcast. Yeah, episode 18. It was the 4th of August when they went out to the to the world, mate. Can you believe that? No, I can't believe that. Oh, happy anniversary. Oh, yeah. Thank you very much. Thank happy you. Happy anniversary. Oh, yeah. A year. I know, yeah. But I, I can't believe... Oh, is it only... That's, I, I don't know. If it's, is that seven months? From a quick yeah. calculation, seven months ago. Yeah. I can't believe how much has happened in seven months, Craig. It's been... Wow. For everybody in the world, as well as me and you, it's just been absolutely crazy. It, crazy. It has, mate. To be fair, and again, like it has for everybody in the world. But I think the the main thing is is look at what what's happened to you in the last seven months. So we've gone from <laughs> recording inside outside podcast dog barking the thing. <laughs> That your podcast took forever to edit because I was trying to mute the dog and, and the dog at the oh. same time. But look at what you've achieved in the last sort of seven months, mate. Oh, that's that's really kind of you to say so. That was quite funny though, wasn't it? Because I said, oh, the Welsh internet won't work and I bound to have a dog barking shortly. And all of a sudden, oh, like on cue, the dog started barking next door, didn't it? Yeah, <laughs> it well, so it did. <laughs> it was, it was lucky it was recorded in August, like July, August time, rather than in the, mid, the depths of winter. Yeah, well, like you said, I, I obviously you can see from behind me a bit of a change of venue, and this is the new office. No, well, which... we're going to get onto that, so we'll we'll get onto that uh, the new office, the branding, the business, and everything else. So, uh, but yeah, do you want to for those rude people that don't know who Lee Rowland TikTok. <laughs> LinkedIn, Facebook, Insta, <laughs> everything social media megastar is for those rude people and maybe the the one corner of the planet that hasn't heard of you yet. Do you want to just give a brief, 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 give you a brief background about yourself, Lee? I'm just going bright red now. That, can you see how embarrassed I am? Thanks for that. Um, yeah, literally the, a very quick version was until 2018, I worked in the voluntary sector uh, in a charity to help disadvantaged young people. But I'd always been interested in property. I think I said last time I was a bit of a property geek, which I am. And I had some like let properties. And then that came to a natural end at the charity. And a couple of guys I played football with had their own brokerage. And they said, oh, you'd be good as a mortgage broker, uh, because I knew quite a lot of people. So I went to work for those guys. I passed my CMAT. Um, then COVID hit, and I had a strategy in my mind about how I wanted to, or how I had to build myself and my business. And the guys from football didn't. Uh, we, we didn't have sort of, didn't knock heads, but it, we weren't on the same path. So another guy I played football with, uh, Mark King from King Financial Services said, oh, come over and work for us. Um, and Mark and Fiona are absolutely amazing. So I went to work for them because they said that I could pretty much do what I had in my mind uh, about developing myself and the business as obviously as long as it was compliant. Up until like, that was sort of, yeah, I think that was April 2020, actually, when I started with King Financial Services. Right, and that'll bring us up to the the present day where there's new things happening, as as, as you sort of know. Wow! And then since I'm, something's just triggered in my mind. I'm thinking back to we've we've recorded the podcast eight nine months ago, 
Lauren's due sort of like around the sort of <laughs> the first of May, <laughs> first of May. So uh, yeah, yeah. I'm just thinking sort of um, yeah, it must, be, must be must be in the height of the summer, mate, and the excitement of recording a podcast that got carried away with yourself. <laughs> yeah, we, well, yeah. Well, I just popped home actually just to see the Lauren's okay. She's only literally got two and a half weeks left, and um. It's, I don't want to touch my nose on the podcast. We've got itchy nose. Um, and she, um, she's fine. She's all good. But she, it's really, she's just uh, uncomfortable now. Just wants to right. obviously have the baby and, and get back to a bit of normality. But she's, she's all good. But May the 1st is the due date. So looking forward to that. Right. So when, when this goes out, it's literally going to be like a few days before. Well, this is going to go out to so like the 26th of April. So it's going to yeah. be like literally a few days before. So who knows, mate? Who knows what's going to be happening? By I then? could be listening to it in the hospital, couldn't I? When I'm waiting. <laughs> to play it to Lauren, I'm sure she'd love that at that point in time. <laughs> Lauren, listen to the podcast. I'm on the podcast. <laughs> Lee, I've got other things to worry about right now. You know what? She did actually say good luck as I came out the door the day because I spoke to her about it. She went, oh, just good luck today, baby. I was, oh, thank you. That's very nice. <laughs> She's still working. She's still working. Not she? Yeah, wow. working, yeah. She's a wow. warrior. Fair play. She's amazing. Absolutely yeah. amazing. Exactly. Fair play to her and still thinking about you going on to a podcast at yeah. a time like this. Yeah. <laughs> it's brilliant, isn't it? Fair play to her. She's class. I know. So, so yeah, like you said, like the last eight months have been, like from my own point of view, like, like so many changes, so many different things going on. But from your point of view, mate, you if you look back on when we sort of sat down talking eight, nine months ago and where you were, where you are right now, which is obviously why we've got you on back on the podcast, yeah. is like it has been pretty much life-changing from your point of view. Is that fair to say? It, it, I want to agree with you, but you don't want to come over as conceited, but it is what's happening. Hey, just do it. It's your podcast. It's honestly, man, um, you just go for it. It's, it's been... It, it all sort of started in June, I think, last year. June was, June was the sort of the week the kickstart. I had a quick chat with Paul Lewis, who gave me his time, you know, Paul. Mm -hmm. Sorted out my LinkedIn. I think I had like, nine, I had 995 connections on LinkedIn, right, in June last year. Right. Got about 3,360 odd now. I know that's not like 10,000, whatever, that's not that, that. And it's just, I just work LinkedIn. And then I went on your podcast, and I think on your podcast I actually said the words, I've just learned to be myself, rather than worrying about what the perception of a mortgage broker was. Yeah, and honestly, it has been like a whirlwind. I've I've been to the Mortgage Introducer Awards. Um, I was at the TMG Awards. Um, I know the awards are everything, but it's nice to mix in those circles to meet these people that you see. Yeah, uh, been in the Mortgage Strategy Strategy Magazine. <laughs> I just can't believe it all. Um, I don't know. I just and now I'm back on here, and there's a few other things which have happened as well. I just, but it, it has been absolutely crazy. But that's all the all the fancy stuff. The good thing is that all that networking and all that hard, not not hard work, social media stuff has led to thankfully a lot more volume of inquiries, right. which has enabled me then to forecast effectively to then take different steps along the way and so uh yeah but thank you for saying that craig but it has it has been um, absolutely amazing uh, i can't it's not i know i do the social media stuff more but it's all the support i've had from everybody else as well i just want to I just can't stop thanking people that's all i do is thank you thank you just it has been an unbelievable absolutely unbelievable I think that's it. Like you, you hit on a comment then what you sort of said about being yourself, and we can clearly see that from everything that you do. We know that from a. If I rang you and I was thinking about becoming your client, I know for a fact I'm going to get the same Lee as I see on Crossbar Challenge, as I see <laughs> on like all the other social lights. <laughs> And all the other stuff that you do, the weather, like I'm not going to talk about the weather, man, because that's sort of, yeah, no, I am really, I'm joking. So, but but that's the thing, like we know that we're going to get, I know from a client point of view that I'm going to get the same 
Lee Rowland because Lee is Lee. There's no sort of there is no person that puts on a different type of persona for, to do a weather report or to do the kids and to, like to do the crossbar and to then to become a the other like, sort of videos that you do. There is not a ch what I like and what I love Lee to be fair is there's no change in your persona, your attitude. You don't put this sort of hat on of something totally different. You are what you are. You never change from one to the other. And the beauty of that is that I've talked about this before, where a client gets an appointment with you, and you, if you was different on the appointment, clients be sort of, hang on, you sort of broke down the confidence and the trust that you you built up with your social media. So they be thinking, hang on a minute, I don't, who is this guy? It wasn't how it was meant to be. Whereas you are in the same in the first appointment, in a lead, in a sign up, whatever the case may be, in the video, it's Lee, isn't it? That's that's what I love. Well, that's exactly what it is. Like I said to you, just about be it was just about being myself. And because of the preconceptions I had of a mortgage advisor and a good mortgage advisor, and they should look like this, they should talk like that. That was that was my fault though, because I, I didn't know any different because I was very new to the sector. But then once I realized I could express myself and that people wouldn't because it's all under if you it's, it's important to note though that it you can only do that type of thing if it's underpinned by something now my underpinning is my reviews because if you look at or read some of my reviews they're not just like oh great service for example they're like some of them, and I, I, people think must think I'm a nut, like a nutcase. But I get really emotional reading them. Some of them are in depth. They like say, "No, I help them with their lives," and you sort of realise at the time, but not really. So I can only do all the social media stuff that I do as long as it's underpinned with something which shows how, how good a service I provide. Because if I was just going around doing weather reports without any substance behind me, you'd just be some crazy guy really when you're doing weather reports and, and whatever else but because concentrate so much on getting the best outcome for the client then when those reviews comes it come in it all sort of stacks up doesn't it you know and obviously i don't i don't need it i don't change i'm quite uh easy to talk to and I like people I said that before I love talking to people I love finding out about them and coming to and getting their getting their dream house get the first time buyers all of it I just I, I get so much satisfaction from it and if I can do it with a smile on my face without changing then happy days happy days and, and that, but that's it it's just like it's a natural like you get a buzz out of and rightly so the reviews you receive and you can see the, the personal comments and the, 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 the feedback that you get on the reviews, you can just see you through those reviews as well. Does, if that, does that make sense? Like you can see your personality through what the comments the clients are saying as well. Oh, they're so kind. I mean, the clients are so kind. All I say to them is, oh, would you mind my me review? And then all of a sudden, sometimes some of these things which come through and it's like taking your breath away. And that... I, it's, it's sort of sometimes a thing we, we don't just talk. It's not just about the figures with me. It's not just about if it fits. It's about asking them questions about their their, their plans, their lives, quite in depth sometimes. Because I don't want to I don't want to leave them with something which isn't going to be able to enable them to do what they want. Yeah, you know, and a bit of long term planning. You know, if we do this for two years, the next five years, should we do this? And so you get to, so I get to know them really well. And there's no way I do something which is going to stop them doing something they want to do. You know, you, that, that, that's what it's about, getting, re, really getting to know them. I should drill down um, into, into, what, into what they actually want in the long term. And to me, these are long-term relationships. I'm not going anywhere. I'm, I, this is it for me. You know, I, I've come into this late. I'm not, I'm not 20, am I? I'm 45. I'm not going anywhere. And these clients are coming with me. And that that's that. They, they're coming with me and I'm going with them. And we're going to make the best out of this home stroke financial investment for their lives. And I just can't, like, just can't wait to see what happens. And that's it, mate. Like, literally, what you're saying is so 
100% right from a client point of view. Like you say, you're not going anywhere. This Being a mortgage broker is not a quick fix. It's not a quick job. It's not a quick role where you think, I'll do that for a little bit and move on to the next because it's not. You're building relationships, long-term relationships with these clients. You'll see them. If they haven't got family now, you will see them with family if, if that's something they want to do or wherever they want to go, whatever they want to do, you're going to see it. And if you don't get motivated by that, if you don't get a buzz out of that for seeing these people going through their financial life. So hopefully you want, you want to see them through from sorting out a mortgage to get them on the property ladder, seeing them through the property ladder, and then seeing them out the other side where they've not got any mortgage anymore and they, they've not got any debt and, that, and and they own their own home or they're doing what they want to do or renting out. It's, you've got to be changed. There's certain words that I'm not, I don't feel comfortable using all the time, but you are genuine with your enthusiasm for your clients. And I think that will shine through with everything that you do, because even now when you're talking, the words that you're saying and the way that you're coming across is that because you do care about where they're going. You do care about what they wanted to do. You do care about what their aspirations and dreams are and everything else. And you want to be part of that journey, which is not like everybody's not like that. And that's where, Successful mortgage brokers that I see have that feeling. They want to be part of that client's journey. It's not a case of, I'll do your two-year fix now. I might speak to you in a couple of years' time, but you might go direct to lender. It's not about that. You are the, the, you're part of the their fiction fitting, shall we say, in terms of their dreams and aspirations or what they want to achieve from a property, financial, and, and home point of view. Well, it's brilliant. Literally, you just remind me two year fix, right? I had one last week, come back round, young couple. It did take a while because they had to, they were on like short term contracts and all this type of thing. First thing they they I they messaged me, I rang them. First thing they said, nothing about the mortgage. Oh, I won't believe it, Lee. We've had a baby, and I was like, oh, you know, that's amazing. Oh, congratulations, that's brilliant. Oh, um, right. So, what's going on? Oh, just blah blah blah. But they, the first thing they said. Lee, we've got to tell you we've had a baby. Oh, and the other guy, there was another one last week. He then, he, uh, I don't, can't say his name. Just Oh, I can, probably can, actually. Ashley, his name is, no one know him. He's texted me to say, oh, Lee, can we come for a walk down the river with you? Because he want they want to show me the baby, not a different couple. I want to show me their baby now as well. And we go for a walk with them down the river. So I know, not, don't get me wrong, not all moles of vibe. Some might be thinking, he's, what's he doing? But that's the type of relationships I'm getting with people. Now, the, the, that's that's not false. That's not that's nothing. That that is me and the depth that I put into my clients. And I'm and I tell you what, I'm happy. I'm so happy that they they they're having children. The first thing they tell them, not talk to me about the mortgage. They're happy. Oh, we got a baby, and oh, mum's okay, and all that. <laughs> it's, it's, it's class. And then obviously you get around to talking about the mortgage. I do do mortgages as well, but it's that type of in depth relationship and the openness which. Um, I don't even, I, which I, which I, it just comes naturally. Don't force it. Don't force it at all. Just try to just, just, just let it evolve, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Be, be yourself. <laughs> but that's the thing is, you know, then that you've got buying from that client. They're not going to go anywhere else. They're not going to speak to anybody else. If anybody tries to tempt them away from somebody else being the mortgage broker, that's just not going to happen because they won't have that relationship anywhere else. They won't get that service anywhere else. And, even if they wanted to like to try and replicate that, it just wouldn't happen with 99% of the population. So it's just like to affirm it, I'm in awe of what like that that's an amazing feeling for you when they're sort of saying to you, Can we go for a walk and you meet the baby and like we just have a quick chat about the mortgage and like what a great place, what a great place to be. Like from from your point of view, from thinking of being a self-employed mortgage broker and now business owner, which we're going to come on to that as well. We've not even talked about that yet, and we're already way into the podcast. Oh, but then, sorry. No, no, man, it's fine. No, this is really no, I'm not complex <laughs> whatsoever. It's, it's just the latest. I knew we had a brief chat before recording the podcast, and I just oh. said to you, there's no – even I've got my – bit of a, <laughs> an agenda. I think they've got three lines. You've got a whole sheet of paper. I think there's no point having a sheet of paper, Lee, because it will just literally, we'll just it's, end up talking about everything. So Yeah, it's a, it, the, the papers are right off. The papers are right off, mate. I, I haven't even looked at it. I haven't even looked at it. <laughs> <laughs> like I say, the, so the, the thing is with it, the clients are born to you. That's how you built your brand. That's how you built your, 
your business over the past, like I say, how, how long it's been, and like it's, it's eight months since we we originally got you onto the podcast, and how much has changed in that period of time? So let alone how much has changed in your whole journey with in regards to financial service and mortgage services. So that so there's, there's two bits I really wanted to talk about. One was TikTok because obviously that's now become your sort of thing as well. So you've added that onto the into the to the mix of your your social media and we'll have a I'll have a bit of a chat about that. I'm, I'm not but the main thing right. that I wanted to talk about was obviously you're now launching as we as this will go out you will have launched or launch yeah you will have launched this week yeah. your own business your own brand so which is the yeah. most important bit really because that's the bit where people want to yes it is we want to know how you've got there yes the, the subscriber listeners will want to know how you've got to that point Lee and this is all gold and stuff that you're talking about so with your clients and who you are and stuff like that so we'll yeah. we'll come on to the brand let's we'll come on to the brand shortly okay TikTok, new thing for you this, did, did this decide one day to because obviously you're doing the videos and that already thinking well i need to get on another platform no i um i went when when tiktok was was sort of launched i got mortgage man wales as my as the profile name but i didn't do anything with it then i left it there for a bit and i was i was doing stuff not hardly anything about five videos it was like oh i've had a great week blah 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 and dancing and things and it was just not not what i wanted to be perceived as so i left it dormant for a bit um so that's I did put the crossbar one on there yesterday, but I've untouched that. So as you know, I there's a story behind it, but I present the weather in the mornings. I do the early morning weather report. Now, for anybody who doesn't know what that is, which you probably won't, it is me who goes out for a walk every morning and I then stop and then give a weather report uh, in a middle class man's voice and then i've got sort of a saying as well which i sort of say and then i put that out every morning on facebook um, it's evolved from i didn't want to want to talk with mortgage all the time so then i wanted to show some exercise then i was going walking posting my walks then I would just say oh the weather and then i went, went up to school a couple of times and all the mums are going what's the weather like today you didn't put the weather on there and so then I started putting the weather more and more and people saying, oh, you're doing loads of steps and all this. And I was going, yeah, yeah. It's on LinkedIn, loads of people on there. And um, then Mark Pugsley from, he was at the Specialist Finance Centre, said, oh, you want to you do a weather, weather report? And I thought, well, all right, then let's let's do it. But because uh, I, obviously I want to show myself approachable and but I want people to know I, I, I have a bit of a laugh as well. So if I was just talking, I think day after day, that would get a little bit monotonous. So I just developed the character where I've got a middle class accent and I say hot dog at the end of every one. So then I thought, right, I know the, the launch is coming soon for the business, right? But I wanted to practice on TikTok. I wanted to practice and see how it all worked, like the hashtags, how to edit the videos, how to put the captions up. And I thought, well, I've got a safe place there, haven't I? Weatherman Wales, which is what I got, is is safe for me because it's not going to offend anyone. I'm not. Yeah. I, I I can play about with it a little bit. I'm not going to sort of harm my professional reputation by doing anything as a weatherman. Just having a little bit of fun. I don't tend to do the trends or anything like that. I've had a little go on them just to see if I can do them. Um, but the point of the weatherman whales uh, is the fun, obviously. But it's also to see how the hashtags and everything work. And then when I launch the business, I can use that to go into Mortgage Man Wales and then replicate what I've learned. And the good thing with that is, look, I can, I've can i learned now how to do a video when I'm out and I can upload it by the time I got back. So I don't lose any time out of my day at all. I literally do the video, one take, don't mess about, one take, do it. I hope it's funny. As I'm walking round the corner, I literally do the stuff and it's uploaded by the time I get in the house. Nice. And the, the TikTok is going okay. I mean, I've only been on it two and a half weeks as a weatherman, but I set, I showed you that thing, didn't I? With Facebook, the weather, the weather forecast is, 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 is nuts. The amount of inquiries have gone 
I, I didn't think again more inquiries to go on. She was a one man band, do you know what I mean? But it's just it's crazy. That's why I've had to turn my turn my phone off. I've turned it off for this. It's it's just buzzing and beeping all the time. Um but I showed you the other day, then I hit the crossbar and I think like in the end, I think 120 people liked it. There was like 150 comments on there. And although like I'm a mortgage advisor, aren't I? But people see I'm approachable. People 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 know who I am. Yeah. I can't I got people shouting hot dog out of vans at me and waving at me. <laughs> but the thing is, they all know, they all know that I'm I'm a I'm the more I'm a mortgage advisor. They yeah. all know that. But that just shows a little bit of a character, some fun, and obviously I'm approachable. And it's 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 going right. And I, I haven't seen any other mortgage advisors doing it. I don't know <laughs> probably why, but I'm I'm consistent every day. But I think the thing is like with that, mate, is that Yes, whether it, you're doing it in a safe environment with the weather stuff, obviously, but that's people will remember you for that now. So it's not necessarily the case of it's got to be forced down your throat, mortgages, mortgages, whatever. Like I speak to brokers, like, well, I don't know what to do about the videos, I don't know what to do. You've just got on there, started talking. I can like the first what early doors when you were doing them and Cringing a few times when you nearly got run over with a few. <laughs> bad, bad, bad. I, know, I was worried about that for your health and safety point of view. And that, so I was just glad when you were stood still filming them. I just thought, oh, I feel a bit comfortable now that he's not going to get run over, fall into a lake or anything like that kind of thing going yeah. on. But I, <laughs> I did nearly get run over, didn't I? But I've been doing them all year, look. So I'm so happy now it's the light mornings and the sun's starting to come out because I've been in really bad conditions. It's been smashing it down with rain. And I'm there going, oh, uh, welcome to the early morning weather report. I'm thinking, oh, dear me. Yeah, but they, they come on a bit. And like I said, i got some structure to them now. And people people love them, mind. I can't believe the response. People eat, from everywhere about, as well. But how, how have you, like, when you look at it, it's the same with anybody starting out for the first time. When you look back at what you did in the first video, it is it is not... And when I look at mine, it's like it's cringe. It's not perfect. I'm not saying this is perfect in any way, shape, or form because obviously I've had a problem with lying just then. So that's another story, which I can't edit that bit out. But <laughs> they, but in terms, of like it's just do you just did it. You didn't really. You would just get on and do it. And it's just what I love is that everybody's been all the people that watch, all the people that comment, all the people that like it, have been part of that journey as that as your videos have, have evolved. So they, yeah. everybody feels part of that journey as well, which is great. So you're not going to get, you're going to get your likes and your comments because people have felt part of this from the start kind of thing. So I, when you look back and look back at your first ones, I know I do, I think, wow, look at those first videos that you're putting out. What, like, it is cringe. And I still cringe now watching any of these. But at least you've done it. At least you've started. At least you've evolved. At least you've learned. You've built a brand. You've yeah. built who you are. You now, like you say, You've got structure to them. You've got your catchphrases. You've got your little <laughs> bits of, of things like that, and and it's just developed. And but the thing is, like now, is like you say, is how like you're th like I'm listening to you there thinking you're shooting something while you're out walking. It's all done. By the time you get back in the house, it's all done. Well, yeah. great. What well, that's it's it's about non friction, and that's non friction. Yeah. You, you, it's just so much because if you got back and thought. I'm going to do this now. I need to do this. I need to do that. It probably wouldn't get done as like, in terms of what. So you've you perfected the art. You've got your structure in place. You know what you're doing now. So it just it just makes it easy for you to do those sorts of things. Yeah, exactly. What I did, I look back. I made um, a series at the start of um, lockdown called Mortgages Made Easy. They were on my YouTube channel. Um, they were educational. This, they sit there as a library now, like for my clients. If my clients need, if I talk to them, I always say, "Oh, look, if you can, if you if you forget something, ring me." But but if not, just go on my YouTube channel. Yeah. And to be honest, you know, like everyone's doing these educational videos now. Everyone's sort of doing them, aren't they? Um, yeah. I run out of material. I, I went for everything. Even the buildings and contents one was a nightmare. I can't. Yeah. I, and so anyway, I even done buildings and contents and how to explain it. And it <clears throat> and I. I know people find mortgages interesting who don't do mortgages, I get that, but there's only so much you can dissect it. And I ran out of, I ran out of stuff. Maybe I should go back and have a look. But the first one I'd done, of more, that was in uh, my daughter's bedroom on my cardboard pop-up desk. Uh, 
and the content, if you listen, the content was good, but I just, it just, I think I got like a dream catcher in the back with a pink <laughs> ball and everything. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I mean, I'll look back on that with fond memories actually, because I was just glad that I just, just thought, can I say balls to it? Balls to it. Just, just, yeah. just, let's just do it, Lee. Get it out there and see what happens. I think that one had about 2,500 views on Facebook anyway. Wow. Yeah. Just me in my bedroom, in my daughter's bedroom, rather. But then people started to get a bit bored with them. Views went up and down. They right. seemed to get a bit a bit bored with them. And then you've got to be careful, because if your face isn't on the front, say I put Mortgage's Made Easy Episode 6, uh, Bite the Let Explained, for example. If they can't see your face, they don't engage with it straight away, and they don't watch it. So it's different yeah. things you've got to learn about. And in the end, I think, because it was getting so specific there wasn't that many views on it. That's why I sort of put it onto the YouTube for a library for clients. I'm still there now. I I, I did check it quickly before I came on here, but I, I wouldn't recommend anybody really to go and have, well, they could go and have a look at the first one, maybe. And yeah. then see no, no, I'm going to tag in, in the put on, when, <laughs> when it goes out, I'm going to put some links onto your first ever one. <laughs> Mind you, people watching this will probably think, well, he's not much better at talking to the camera now. <laughs> yeah, but that, that, I just glad I did it. And like you said, now I can, I mean, I can post on LinkedIn, I can post on Facebook while I'm walking, I can, I can, I can do stuff. So, I'm, like you said, no friction. And it's basically using the best use of my time because I'm out walking anyway. I'm doing some social media. <clears throat> it just kills two birds with one stone. Exactly. And I say it just gives you consistency. One of the things you said when you were talking a bit earlier was about the consistency. So it just gives you that you're out walking every single day. You just it's a, it's, it's a funny thing because the thing is, like, you have to go out walking every single day now. So it's a double win because you've got to go out every single day walking. Because if you don't, then, which I know we've had a few misses recently, I think when you were ill and stuff like that, which we'll let you off with. But being, it gives you that motivation to get out of bed and to do it because then you know you've done by six o'clock, half six, you've done your content yeah. for the day. Yeah, exactly. And then I reply to everyone before I start my working day. I don't know if you've noticed, I sort of reply yeah. up to about nine-ish and yeah. then I'm, I'm, I'm concentrating then on what I'm, what I'm supposed to be doing, basically. Um, yeah. But yeah, regarding that, that day off I had, I had to sort of make up that I'd been in a meeting with Michael Fish and... <laughs> And uh, what's his name, John Ketley, because I missed the crossbar on the Sunday. People are complaining because I missed the day. So when I go on paternity, when I go on paternity now, I, I don't have him because I'm self-employed, I suppose. But when I go out for the baby, I'm gonna make have to make up. I'm gonna make up a false form, a holiday, a paternity form, and post it on Facebook so people know I'm off on paternity. It's like the test. You, you're not as old as me, mate. So I will lay off. But you used to have a test card when the TV finished at twelve o'clock at night. There was like a test card screen kind of thing with a with a, a weird looking girl. And so the people that are old. Colors? Yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe I will get that then. Yeah. So I had complaints because I missed. The day. You get a test. That's the idea. We can get you te get a test screen with your face on it. That's what oh, you need. There we go. Oh, yeah. superb. Yeah, we right, we'll do that. Then. Yeah. 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 yeah so. Cool. Yeah, it does. It, it, it ticks all the boxes and it's done and dusted quite early so then I can get on with what I'm supposed to be doing, basically. No, which, like, which I get your point on that because I think sometimes, especially when you're posting videos, it can get, you can be worried about them all day. Like, are you replying in time? People are commenting, replying, commenting, replying. You can get too hung up on replying and commenting on your LinkedIn post and not getting any work done. So it is getting that balance right. And I think you're right. If you've done it by... Nine o'clock, but I've done all my replies, stuff like that. Anybody else comments in the day, I'll pick up later, kind of thing. Yeah. I think that's what you have to do. Exactly. Definitely. Exactly. All unfortunately for us mortgage brokers at the moment, they'll resonate with this. We're on hold a lot of the minute. Yeah. You're on hold. So say you're on a hold and then you've got two broker chats going on, you're on a bit of this and that. Then you need to have a quick look at your phone. You have a look quick look at your phone, like do you know what I mean? But yeah. I tend to just focus on on work in work in proper traditional working hours, if you like. Definitely. So, a great lead into, because you talked about mortgages made easy there. So a great lead into exciting times this week of you have launched your own brand, your own business. And yeah, exciting yeah. times ahead. Yes, I have launched Mortgages Made Easy Limited. And I've 
I, I just can't believe it. Well, I can say I can, I can believe it. That's a lie because I've been working on it for a while. But yeah, mortgage is made easy. The website, the logo, all been signed off and ready to go. I've I, it's all weird stuff as well. I, mean, I don't know if you want to talk about that. It's like setting up the bank account, registering yeah. on companies, setting up bank accounts, registering on companies' house. Um, diff, different. Oh, sourcing an office if you need one. If you've got a baby coming when you're setting up the business. <laughs> um, talk about timing. We, we did yeah, about yeah. All, all things like that, which register, sort of registering with the network going through the necessary due diligence the network need to do and then doing the testing that the network needs you to do liaising with yourself Cree, because i i'm not sure if you want to mention it but i i am going with you guys with under your my brand my way yeah. which i'm really well, thankful mention, for. thanks for dropping that in lee i was i was going to give you all that sort of thing but it's fine no well i'm i'm happy i was going to thank you for well, accept him, not accept me, but willing, being willing to work with me from my on my brand, my way. Because um, I first heard of it when I listen. I've listened to all your podcasts, you know that, and it's on the trailer, isn't it? Uh, on, on the it's on the yeah, start yeah. Of the so I've listened yeah. to them all, and then I listened to you on a podcast with Ash Borland, and you were talking a bit about it. There was a previous one, another one you've just done now, and um, I was thinking rightly. Uh, I, I, you know, I'm not that experienced in financial services. Um, I haven't got a bad business head on my shoulders, though. And I needed, I I know that I couldn't have done this on my own. Like, I am on my own. I haven't got a business partner or anything like that. I haven't got the, the knowledge in the financial sector probably to develop this on my own at the minute. And I, when I listen to you, I don't know if you noticed, know Craig, right? But when you're doing a podcast, with this, this might take you, I don't know if I hope we take this the right way is that when you're doing a podcast with somebody else, right? I don't know if you realize how much people listen to what you're actually saying. Right. Right. So, mm -hmm. and the thing, and, and the stuff that you say to other guests, I listen to that as much as I listen to the guests. Right. And that, that I knew that I wanted to work with you um, and then you tech, you didn't text something. You put something on my, one of my LinkedIn posts of like abundance mentality. I think it was. I think that's what you put. And then I knew then. I don't know if you. I knew then that I wanted to work with you, but I don't think you knew that I wanted to work with you. So then I reached out to you then, mm -hmm. and you were great. You were like, obviously very professional, but chilled out, my type of person, and then you've got to look at it from a business perspective then, because obviously you've got, you've got to look at the percentages and the forecast and whatever else. It was a no brainer. So I could go with you, work with you, have you as a, a mentor and a guide for the same as just joining a network. And I know for a fact that you're going to help me progress so much faster than if I tried to fight for all this stuff on my own. And I, I just, Thank you so much, mate. I remember when I text you, I text you, like, do you want to, can, I think I text you, do you want to work, can I work with you or something? And I look at me and go red again. And I was thinking, oh God, imagine he says no now. <laughs> so mate, thank it was you. Never gonna, you know it was never going to be a no, but I, I, I genuinely do appreciate that feedback. And I do, I think I like working with like-minded people. I think, and you should work with like-minded people. I've talked about that before. I think it's, if your cultures are aligned, like your values are aligned, the culture, everything about it. And I think, it, and I appreciate that feedback. It's not, I I think with the podcast sometimes, going back to your original comment, um, it's, and I've talked about it on, on the podcast with Ash, which was a few weeks ago on the anniversary one, about, I didn't realise, I, I was on a few podcasts before I decided to host my own. And I, I thought this is easy. This is like being on a podcast. It's sort of you're just chatting about yourself, talking about what you do, how you do it, blah, 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 blah. Then being a host, when you're on the host, you're thinking, oh my God, like it is, <laughs> you're constantly, constantly having to think because it's just what you don't want to do is miss the golden nuggets that you talk about. So you've got to have those in your mind thinking we need to explore those a little bit more from what, but you could throw that comment in five minutes ago kind of thing. So then I've got to think, well, and 
it's so funny you should say that about the comments because it's something that we're going to look at doing is with because it's very much a guest the, the pod, a podcast is all about the guest so this is your show i'm not, I, this is i just host a show that is your show and we're talking about you and your brand and stuff like that but i think i'm glad you said that lee because what we're going to look at doing is then clipping some of what you sort of say and then me having more of a talking about what you've said after right, on okay. my own kind of thing so do you know like sort of saying it, this like this is like something that Lee said, talking about whatever it was, and then this is like then this is my take because I don't always get time to sort of talk on my from my point of view because you're just that busy thinking what I'm going to say next, yeah. what I'm going to be keeping the full conversation going and stuff like that. So I appreciate that, mate. But the, but going back to your point, and I I think you just it goes back to the same thing as why I knew that you and I worked together because. There is no hidden agenda in me. There's no, I don't sit here on the podcast and then I'm talking to a member of the team or I'm talking to, to a business owner or I'm talking to like the network or whoever. It's just me. I'm really sorry, but it is just me. There's no hidden agenda. There's no bull. There's no. Exactly. That, exactly. And, and, and you're being yourself. And that's the thing with you and I knew you would work, together, you and I would work together because you are yourself. That is clearly the case. But going back to it, what, there is a lot to think about when you're setting up your own firm, absolutely. Yeah. But the exciting times is that's what you're now you're doing. All the hard work exactly. that you've put in over the yeah. past few years of getting into the industry, building yourself, building your brand, your knowledge, your skill, get being brave and going out there and making the videos and doing everything else. It's it, it's yours, mate. Do you know, that's the thing. Is like yeah. th this is yours. You, you're not buying leads in. You're not working with an estate agent in, or an introducer kind of thing, point of view, they can get dropped, you can get dropped as like as quick as anything in terms of training you for somebody else and more percentage and stuff like that. It's not, this is you and you're building your business, you're building your legacy and that's the exciting times with it all. Well, that's the good thing about my brand, my way, isn't it? Because they saw, it is my brand and my way. And so I can, it is my business and I, I can steer it as long as it's compliant. Let's cover ourselves quickly. I can steer it how I want to steer it, can't I? I yeah. And it that's that's what something which is really important to me was I I needed to know I need to know that decisions that I make which have a direct effect on my family are are the decisions which are right or sink or swim. I want I I think so far it's gone okay, and I just need to know from like an entrepreneurial sort of mindset that the things i got in my mind going forward not just now but you know forward and forward and forward the picture i've got i think that i just want to know that it's right i want to prove it to myself mm -hmm. I, I don't know if that's going to come over very well i just want to prove that this vision i got which could hopefully bit step by step come together i'll then know whether it was right or not and it's all in that it's in my hands, isn't it? It's not in nobody else's hands. It's my responsibility, and exactly. that's what I want to do. That's the thing, mate. You you hit the nail on the head. It's your responsibility, but you have got that freedom to create that and create your responsibility, which you're not shying away from. So that's that's the big thing with it. Is you are creating your. This is something you want to do and something you want to create. Yeah. You're taking responsibility for it, but you've got the freedom to to do that and. You will make it work. There's not, not a, one doubt about that. I can't wait, mate. Honestly, I cannot. I cannot wait to to kick it off properly. It's it's. I'm excited. I got to wait. Wait till you see some of the stuff I'm going to do. Now. It's going to be brilliant. Honestly, I got some class stuff um, lined up. Uh, I, I don't want to. I don't want to say too much because I I want it to be like a like a, a surprise. Yeah, if yeah. You don't, yeah, don't give it. Don't, don't give any uh, spoilers on the show, mate. No, I won't. I won't. Just so I yeah. have a good impact, and that's another thing as well. I got to be careful when I launch. Obviously, I want this to go out and a few other things, but I got to be careful because I've got to generally, I've got to build my infrastructure. Once my infrastructure is in place and I know exactly where I am, then I can just go absolutely nuts. Then and uh, you know, full on mortgages made easy <laughs> express mode. <laughs> yeah. um, just, I, like, I just, I just love it. Like, I just can't wait. Cannot wait to get it going. Good. No, I, and that's the thing is, I can't wait to see it grow and evolve, mate. And just being, like, it is just being part of that journey, your enthusiasm, motivation, 
everything about it is just going to be, yeah, it's going to be an exciting ride. And I'm looking forward to just helping you along with the, the ride, really. It's just going to be, it is going to be such a, a great thing to, to see and be, and it's yours, it's your responsibility. And any help and support that I can give, then you know that I will uh, do oh, as course. much as I possibly can. So, um, so cool. I, I appreciate that. Thank you, mate. Fine. Well, look, we've gone on for sort of like I, you are a very busy man, and we've gone on for sort of like forty-five minutes or so. And but but it's been good to get you back on. Good to hear about it. Good to sort of see we've we've gone from the the, the bad internet outside <laughs> your garden with the dogs, and now you've got full HD, ten eighty <laughs> camera, full fiber in the office. Back like you've got yourself all geared up. You put yourself a nice. Shirt on, and you've got a swell out of the dog kind of thing. You put a bit of fake tan on. I'm joking, mate. I'm <laughs> it's all that walking in the morning. It's all yeah, the walking. It, yeah, I've been looking a bit weathered. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Lee. If honestly, mate, thank you so much for your time. Thanks for coming back onto the podcast again. It's been a great journey. I'm going to tag in those early editions so we'll uh, we'll get a few view, we'll get you a few views increased on that and uh, oh. on those and. Yeah, it's great to see how it's evolved from what you started, how I, when I first got to know you a, a while ago, getting you onto the podcast, looking at where you're growing, look at where you're going. Then, and yeah, it's going to be yeah, an incredible journey. And I'm lucky, very lucky to have a, a not a front row seat, shall we say, in terms of uh, looking what you're doing. I really appreciate that. Thank you, Craig. And um, thanks for everything, mate. You know, over the last since August, just the education through the podcast, but also being on the end of the phone and the support, not just saying it because I'm on here, I, I say it to you anyway, but thanks very much for everything, mate. I do really appreciate it. No worries, no worries mate. You know, I, that's not a problem for me. I, like you say, we talk about abundance mentality, we talk about all the other things, then about values and stuff like that. Not a problem at all, mate. Not not a, a chore. I'm just glad to just to have a chat with somebody that's got a like-minded views, aspirations and, and values, which is a, is a big thing for me. So, Brill. No, cheers, mate. I'm looking forward to more weather reports. <laughs> You'll be one tomorrow morning. <laughs> oh, Lee, thanks for We're going to get you back on. This is going to go out on the launch of Mortgages Made Easy. So we're going to oh. get you back on maybe six months in, because you're going to be busy. So maybe six yeah. months in, having a bit of review, a bit of a catch-up, and uh, hopefully some more weather reports, obviously, and... <laughs> some more great insights on what you've achieved over the past six months. I really appreciate it. <clears throat> Thanks again, Craig. And good luck. If this goes out and you've not, and Lauren's still in <laughs> labour or not achieved labour yet, then from everybody that's listening and subscribing, good luck with their, uh, good luck to Lauren and hope everything goes all right. Oh, that's amazing. Thanks again, mate. I'll pass that on. <laughs>